possibility. I don't know. A possibility what? That I, that I could get it. You know, I don't see why not. If, I mean, if he's getting it. Or twins. Wait, did you want twins? Once a year, Stephen and Sean leave their hometown, bound for the London Institute of Psychiatry, where they are subjects in a study of twins and schizophrenia. After ten years of living with this destroyer of the human spirit, Stephen hopes the study will confirm that his brain has escaped the disease. Sean is hoping that someday science will come up with a cure for an affliction that from its very onset buried him in a state of confusion and paranoia. First I thought I was turning telepathic and I could read people's minds and that because I didn't know what was going on. And then I thought it might be like spirits or ghosts or something. The first terrors of schizophrenia are only heightened by the victim's inability to comprehend the symptoms of onset. At first, Sean had no idea what was happening. Vivid hallucinations and growing paranoia convinced him that he was possessed. Soon, he believed that his own brother was part of a plot against him. As time went on, it got that much that he was questioning us all the time. And I thought, hold on, this is getting serious, you know, he actually thinks that I'm seeing things against him or plotting something. Sean's psychosis was not the first time the twins had encountered the disease. When the boys were five years old, their mother was hit by schizophrenia and her sanity shattered forever. Watching his brother fall victim was devastating for Stephen. But it wasn't just lightning striking twice. Scientists now believe that schizophrenia is partly hereditary. Having one parent with schizophrenia, Sean and Stephen had a one in eight chance of inheriting the disease. But like 50% of all sets of identical twins with the disease, schizophrenia has struck only one of the pair, which tells us that it's more than just genetic. Genes mean that it's necessary to develop the disease, but not by themselves sufficient to develop the disease. There's something more that's needed. What is the more? Uh, the more has to come from the environment. At the London Institute of Psychiatry, Stephen and Sean are part of a study tracking 160 sets of twins. Here and around the world, scientists are searching for reasons why one twin can be stricken by schizophrenia while the other escapes. Twins are a fascinating group of people in that here you've got an identical uh, pair. They share exactly the same genes. You can try and tease out uh, the influences of the genes versus the influences of the environment. Dr. Farouk Ahmad is one of the specialists searching for the triggers to psychosis in the London study of twins. Even though we think of them having a common shared environment, the environment itself can be very different. For example, during pregnancy, the blood supply to one twin may be more than to the other twin, which would affect uh, its growth and also the brain development. And we know from other studies that birth complications are important in, uh, 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 in predisposing people to developing schizophrenia. 